Hey, welcome to the show. Today I'm going to start a new series called uh, Video Answers. And even though I do the live stream on Wednesdays and people ask me things during the live stream, a lot of people probably don't watch that one hour stream. So I do get a few questions through email that I think are easier to answer through video. And I've been making in the past uh, videos just for that one person, putting them on unlisted and sharing it to them. But I feel like these questions could help the community. So I'm going to be posting these as quick uh, rough draft questions and answers. Um, usually in my dark room or in my studio, the audio will probably be a little echoey because of the dark room space. But yeah, today I want to answer a question from a subscriber and a big time supporter, Stuart, um, who wants to start developing his black and white at home. <clears throat> he doesn't have a dark room like I do. So he's using a changing bag, which is fine to load your film onto your tank. He's using Patterson tanks, which are great tanks. And um, he wants a recommendation on what chemicals to start with. I started with uh, Kodak D76. It's probably the most known chemical for developing film. Most of the new chemicals, when they did come out, used to, um, how do you say, compare themselves to D76. So. It would be how much more grain or how much more um, latitude or tonality you would get compared to D76. So it's like the school developer that everyone uses to start. I started off with D76 powder, which is what, how they sell it. You mix it, you use it, it's pretty easy to go. It's pretty cheap and then you can move on to something else. So I recommend to start D76 is one of the easiest ones to go with. It's available almost everywhere. Amazon, a photography stores, local stores that if you have anything in your town. And then from there you decide. Um, something I say a lot about black and white is black and white is probably the most complicated and easy process in photography. And what I mean is it's easy because it's very simple to do yourself, but it's also very complicated because it's usually done by hand. Each person has their technique. Each person does a different agitation, times, temperatures, developers. There's so many combinations. doesn't mean it's complicated. It's just complex. So color is so easy. It's just all one into a Jobo tanker, into a proper processing machine. And that's very simple. So yeah, black and white is fun to experiment, but sometimes a little, um, you know, like gets you scared when you start, when you start seeing all the formulas and the massive de developing chart and you get scared. So D76 is for you. It's a great use. What I use now is HC 110, which is here just because I developed yesterday from Kodak. Uh, you might see that I use Kodak products, not because I love them more or less. It's just, I really like the contrast. This gives me to put in the enlarger. So HC 110 um, is also a huge, um, easy, developer. It's a syrup so you can prepare at the moment you need it and uh, very easy. D76 has to be mixed a few hours before you want to develop so take that into consideration. I do this one shot. Then to stop there's also Ilford's um, similar products for developing in your darkroom so if you're much of an Ilford person check it out see which ones compare to the um, characteristics of your developer or the one I use and see how it goes. For printing, I use HC 110. For scanning, a lot of people do D76 and then they can change the contrast on the computer. For stopping, I know a lot of people stop with water. It's cheap and easy. You can also stop with water and a bit of vinegar as it's acid and that will stop the reaction of the developer. Um, but I use Ilfo Stop. It's pretty affordable. I use it also. I do reuse this one unless I'm not going to develop in a long time. But uh, Ilford Stop is 119 pretty easy to use and I buy these 500 milliliters bottles which I always have a few um, in hand. Then to fix um, my paper and my, usually my paper and my film I fix with Ilford Rapid Fixer. Once again Ilford, um, just because I like the spirit of Ilford and we don't know how Kodak will be around much longer or not. Not that it won't go away but Ilford is what I use. I use Ilford rapid fixer which probably won't focus but there you go you can see it there and um, I mix it. I also sometimes buy it in um, 5 liter things because I use it a lot for paper. This is a paper developer that's starting to get a little brown so probably won't be as good for now. Uh, just in case you're wondering I also have a new one here. But yeah if you have any questions also for black and white 
those are the three developers. And then the last one that I use is Photoflow from Kodak. Uh, I know Ilfern has its own one too. So let me see. There you go, Photoflow um, 200. Here it says one part of Photoflow, 200 parts of water. I use just grab and put a little drop on my tank, pour water, and that's it. They recommend not to do this in your tank and your reels because they could uh, end up um, creating a spongy, bubbly mixture that can screw up your next developing. I do it in my tank, never had an issue, but they do say that. Once I do that, I hang my film, and after I hang my film, I cut it and I always sleeve it on print file um, plastic sleeves. These are transparent, so I can do contact prints without taking them out. Some people like them, some people hate them. I really enjoy these. They're pretty affordable and easy. These are special 6x7 ones, and um, yeah, no, no, these are the special, these are just normal 6x6 and 645 and whatnot. But yeah, that's how I do my developing. As always, this is a quick um, video answer. If you have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. Stuart, I hope I helped you with that um, answer. It's easier than me typing an email, which will help you, but maybe not help others. And the whole idea with what I do on my YouTube channel is help as many people as possible with, um, let's say, the least work from me. It's still work, but I enjoy it. So yeah, thank you guys. See you in the next one, and if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll post on these quick answers, or video answers. Thank you. Bye.